this the 720 degrees flare skirt or double flare skirt this flare skirt is very very full as you can see and you can use it for your peplum for your skirt even on the sleeve this is the 360 degrees flare skirt or full flare skirt. This is a normal flare skirt we know. We can also use it for peplum, for skirt, and for your sleeve. This is the 180 degrees flare skirt or half skirt flare skirt. This can be used for skirt and for your sleeve or any other part you want to attach it. Here is a 90 degrees flay skirt or quarter skirt. You can see it's very, very uh, not full at all. So you can use it for your skirt as well. So stay tuned to the end of this tutorial. You will be needing these basic measurements for the cutting of this flay skirt. I'm using my skirt length at 15 inches. Waist circumference 13 inches, skirt band width is 1 inch, you can also use 2 inches. The parameters we are going to use here is constant and you will be seeing it in the course of the calculation of this flay skirt. C, circumference is equal to 2 pi r and it is constant. Pi is 3.142 which is mathematically derived and constant. So making R the subject of the formula, C divided by 2 pi will give us R. Y pi is 3.142. So we'll divide C with 2 times 3.142. That's how we got 6.28. So 6.28, you always see it in the calculation of this flay skirt. So C over 6.28 will give us R. This is how you are going to take your measurement. On the waistline, you place your tape and take your waist circumference. Mine is 13 inches. Then the next is your skirt length. You place your tape on the waist and take your length of your skirt. Mine is 15 inches. So the first cutting is 90 degrees flay, which is quarter flay. Now the waist is 13 plus 2 inches zip allowance will give us 15 inches. So now our new waist circumference is 15 inches. So the waist circumference divided by 6.28 which is 15 divided by 6.28 will give us 2. So because we are cutting quarter of our flay. We are going to multiply these two by four, which is a quarter of the flay. A quarter of the flay. That is how we got eight inches. So we are going to make use of eight inches. I'm highlighting it right there. Next is your skirt length minus band length. 15 minus one will give me 14 inches plus seam allowance of one inch which is 15 inches so i'm highlighting 8 and 15. so 8 and 15 we are going to work with them for the cutting of this quarter flay so to determine the amount of fabric that you need amount of fabric is the 15 plus 8 inches which is 23. So I've already cut out a square fabric of 23 inches by length. As we calculated, 23 inches by length and 23 inches by width. So that is how your square fabric will be, single and single. So for the quarter flay, you just hold it at the tip and make a triangle with it. So after making the triangle, make sure you arrange it appropriately. Then place your tape at the tip of it, at the tip of the triangle. And we are going to take the measurement of the skirt length, which is at 23 inches. So I will place my tape now, measure 23 inches, 23 inches, that is the skirt length for the flay. Then I'm going to highlight my line. 
next is the radius at eight inches because we are cutting a quarter of the flay we multiply by four so we are going to mark the flay at eight inches the radius then i'm going to cut after cutting this is the shape of what you are going to have as your quarter flay skirt you can see that is a quarter of the flay skirt so we are going to go over to the half circle skirt so for the half circle skirt i'll just cancel the figure 90 and the quarter and right half because we are working on half of the flay skirt and 180 degrees is also half a circle skirt now the waist remains the same zip allowance is two inches which is 15 inches our new waist remains 15 inches now the waist circumference remains the same divide by 6.28 which will give us two but this time we are cancelling four we will replace it with two because we are cutting half two is half so now we have four inches to work with next is your skirt length minus your band width which is 15 minus 1 which gave us 14 plus seam allowance of 1 inch which is 15 inches so the difference is the 4 inches because we multiply by half which is 2 so i'm going to replace that 4 inches now and put back 4 inches instead of 8 inches so our calculation remains 19 inches for the half flay skirt so i have brought a square fabric as well and this square fabric measures 19 inches by 19 inches but this time around is on fold you can see i have it on fold so make sure you place it on fold before you measure your square so at the folded edge i'm going to take the measurement but i'll fold it another time before i take the measurement of my length which is 19 inches calculated so i'll place my tape at the tip and i'm going to measure 19 inches 19 inches 19 inches for the half flay full length next is to take the measurement of the radius this time around the radius it adds four inches because we multiply by two which is half of a circle four inches now i'm going to cut out my flay after cutting you will have a half circle like this so this is a half circle right now so this is your half circle or 180 flay skirt now we'll jump into the 360 which is the mother of all the flays so the parameters remain the same our new waist circumference is still 15 but now the waist circumference 15 will now divide 6.28 here we have two we are not going to multiply anything because this is the main full circle skirt next is the skirt length minus band width which is 15 minus 1 14 plus seam allowance which will give us 15 inches so we are working with 15 inches and 2 inches right now so to calculate the amount of fabric we are going to add 2 plus 15 which is 17. so i'm going to come in with my fabric once again i have a square fabric as well which measures 17 inches by 17 inches but this time around is into four folds into four folds okay so this is how i folded it first i have to bring the first edge to meet up with the other edge as you can see then after that i have two folds then i'll fold it again like this from this point to this point making it four folds so at this double folded part the part that are folded that is where we are going to take the measurement of our radius and the measurement of the flay 360 flay skirt 
So you can see I have one, two, three, four. So on this edge, which I'm touching now, I'm going to place my tape at that point. And I'm going to take the measurement of my radius, which is two inches. And I will take 17 inches as well. So I'll first take 17 inches, which is the measurement of the flay skirt length. I'll take 17, 17, 17, 17. So after that, I'm going to cut. Then before I cut, I'll take the radius at 2 inches, 2 inches, 2 inches, 2 inches. Then I'm going to cut it out right now. So after cutting, you are going to open up only one folded part of it for the zipper. So here is the full circle skirt, which is 360 degrees flay skirt. You can see the circle. It is a full circle. So now we want to jump into the 720, which is double flay. So I'm canceling the full to double and 360 to 720. So the waist circumference remains 13 plus 2 inches zipper allowance, which is 15. So new waist length is still 15 inches. So the waist circumference, I'll divide it by 6.28 and I have 2 inches. But this time around, because it's a double flay, we are going to divide 2 by 2. Okay, that is 2 is double. That we are using division, 2 inches divide by 2, which will give us 1. So now the skirt length minus skirt band is 15 minus 1, 14 plus seam allowance, which will give us 15 inches. So this time we are working with 1 and 15 right now. So I will cancel the 2 to 1. So 1 plus 15 will now give us 16. So we are working with 16 inches for the double flay skirt. So here I have my fabric into two this time around. Okay, I have two squares of 16 inches length, which is folded into like I folded in the 360. Okay, so you just fold it the first one and, and fold it again. That is how I folded the other one. You are going to fold square of 16, 16 inches and double of it. So on the folded edge right now, I have, I'm going to fold it again like a triangle and fold it again from the folded part. You can see where I'm touching. That's where you are going to fold it like a triangle. So this is what you have. From the tip of the folded part, you are going to take the measurement of 16 inches and the radius of 1 inch from the tip. So I place my tape and first measure 16 inches, 16 inches, 16 inches. I will measure the full length of the skirt, which we calculated as 16 inches from the beginning to the end of the fabric. Then I'm going to measure the one inch radius, one inch radius for the double skirt. So this is flay number one, and this is number two that makes it double. So I'll also measure, repeat the same measurement of 16, 16 inches, 16 inches, 16 inches. Then measure my radius again for this one at one inch. So after that is done, I'll cut. All right, after cutting, we have a double flay skirt right now. So this is the first circle and the second one, okay? And that is how to cut your a double flay skirt. So we are going to pick up one end of it and join it to the other 
end of it to make it a double flare skirt okay so if you have been watching this tutorial and you have not subscribed why not subscribe right now okay if you like what you are seeing in this video thanks for watching see you next